Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Midnight Now here in Cairo and this is a new edition of Panorama News. In the upcoming 35 minutes we'll be bringing you the latest of the political, economic and sports news from all around the world. I'm Henny Seif, I'll be your host for tonight and we'll start off with the political news and these are the headlines. And uh, moving on, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, who is spending a holiday in Egypt. The meeting, which was held at El Ittihadeh Presidential Palace, was attended by Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri. The President welcomed Sarkozy, who is visiting the country with his family, expressing appreciation for his former contributions to strengthening bilateral ties. President Sisi commended the current positive trajectory of the Egyptian-French relations on all levels. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Monday the delegation of the African Peer Review Mechanism, APRM, headed by its CEO, Professor Edward Miloko, in the attendance of Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri. Presidential spokesman Basem Rodi said that during the meeting, President Sisi praised the role of the APRM, in supporting the development efforts in the African countries, enhancing democracy principles, and following up the implementation of sustainable development targets within the Africa Agenda 2063. The President also stressed Egypt's support to the mechanism as one of its founding countries and welcomed the launch of the APRM's report on Egypt. The head of state expressed keenness on fostering cooperation with the mechanism within Egypt's strategy to provide citizens with a decent and safe life, a matter which he said embodies through the health initiatives, which aim at improving living conditions for citizens. For their part, the APRM delegation expressed appreciation for Egypt's serious steps at the political, social and economic levels, especially in the fields of youth and women empowerment. They also hailed Egypt's efforts in boosting the African joint cooperation in various domains. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Monday received U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, John Kerry. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassem Radi said that President al-Sisi stated that Egypt will adopt a neutral stance while hosting the U.N. Climate Conference, COP27, set to be held in Sharm el-Sheikh next November. The President pointed out that Egypt will put into consideration the priorities and stances of all parties in order to guarantee fruitful results in favor of climate global work. The presidential spokesperson stated that Assisi welcomed holding the first meeting of the Egyptian-U.S. working group over climate change, expressing willingness to consult with the U.S. side on climate change issues during the upcoming period. For his part, Kerry stressed the U.S.'s confidence in Egypt's leadership of next climate summit and its keenness on boosting joint cooperation between the two countries on this file to push international efforts on climate change. Kerry also praised President Assisi's keen interest in climate work on the international level, in addition to the green transformation on the local level. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri stressed that Egypt will exert every effort to raise optimism over combating climate change and the implementation of the Paris Accord as Cairo continues preparing for the United Nations COP27 conference in Sharm el-Sheikh in November. Addressing a joint press conference with Special Presidential Envoy for Climate John Kerry following talks at the Foreign Ministry, Shukri said they discussed the promising potentials for Egypt's conversion into a regional green and clean energy hub. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri and U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Climate John Kerry Monday launched the U.S.-Egypt Climate Working Group after their meeting at the Foreign Ministry premises in Cairo. During a press briefing held jointly with the U.S. Envoy at the end of their session of talks, Shukri said that an agreement was reached to form a group during the U.S.-Egypt strategic dialogue held in November last year. The top diplomat welcomed Kerry on his second visit to Cairo since he assumed his current post. Shukri said that climate change is a common priority of both Cairo and Washington, noting that Egypt is preparing to host the UN Climate Change Conference, COP27, in 2022. The top diplomat said Egypt will lead international efforts to face climate change in the coming stage. He added that his talks with Kerry focused on goals of the upcoming COP27 
stressing that Egypt would continue to exert utmost efforts at all levels with the aim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and support adaptation to the negative impact of climate change. Shukri added that COP27 will also tackle finances needed to enable developing countries to do their part of the Paris Agreement. He told Kerry that Egypt is keen on empowering youth and the civil society where climate change is concerned. Shokri and Kerry agreed on the next steps to continue joint coordination about top priority issues on the agenda of COP27. The foreign minister hailed as pivotal the role played by Washington in terms of global climate action. Kerry, for his part, said the group is focused on the COP27 conference in Egypt's Red Sea resort of Sharm el Sheikh. He said the country has already begun its preparations for the meeting. Kerry said that the U.S. was also working with Egypt on its own transition to a clean energy future. The U.S.-Egypt Climate Working Group is a joint endeavor to advance bilateral and multilateral climate goals ahead of COP27. Egyptian and French naval and air forces carried out joint drills Ramses 2022 that takes a few days. From the French side, French carrier Charles de Gaulle and group of accompanying fighters, in addition to a number of Rafael fighter jets, participate in the drills. From the Egyptian side, frigates, rocket boats and elements of naval forces, in addition to a number of F-16 fighters, Rafael and MiG-29 jets, participate in the drills. A number of armed forces, commanders and French military attaché in Cairo attended the exercises. And in the economic news, Egypt's stock indices collectively went up in the trading session on Monday after being affected by strong purchasing operations of shares in different categories. The benchmark EGX30 index jumped by 1.15%. The EGX70 index for small and medium businesses also went up 0.35%. And the broader EGX100 index also went up by half a percent. After all indices uh, jumped by purchasing deals of local and foreign investors, the market capitalization gained 4.2 billion Egyptian pounds to close at 720.8 billion and the transactions of about 4.4 billion pounds. <laughs> 